Listen to Bridge Local with the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the Hot Toys High on Plastic Series 1 Misfits Invasion figure of the Giant Claw. They really were high on plastic when they did this thing. <laughs> what do you mean? The, I, no, it looks like it had sex with crayon. I'd have sex with a crane. But look at it. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like purple and cool and kind of harkens back to the old toys. It looks really blue on the camera. It does look kind of blue. I think it kind of matches this because <laughs> clashing with the background a bit. But anyways, uh, this was uh, my wife supported their Kickstarter because they were doing some like the old fashioned like 50s monster movie characters. Because uh, you can see here's the card that it came in because it came in a little baggy sort of akin to like a marmot. Uh, if you will, if you guys know Godzilla figures. Uh, but this is some of the other guys you can get too. There's four of them. Uh, which I f don't actually know all their names at the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that's the guy from the th the original of The Thing. The Thing from Outer Space. I want to say that's Robo-Man. And then you also have that guy here too. Which I know, like I've seen him from movies. But I f just can't remember his name. But the one that pertained to us the most was the giant claw here. Because collecting giant monster stuff, you just kind of fit in the most. Then there's just, there's nothing giant claw really. Which... Awesome movie, by the way. <laughs> oh, God, awful movie. I mean, egg awfully awesome. It's so cheesy. You know what? You get people like falling out of planes. He's just like, <laughs> I can't complain. Swoops I watched the movie. It. Yeah, because we had to review it. It was great. Should definitely check that out. Probably toss a card up here. But anyways, uh, without further ado, first packaging. Uh, we already kind of showed you. It. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, had a little baggy. You just rip it out of them. Uh, if you guys are want to see it in its full in package of glory you can check out the unboxing we did uh, but other than that since he's been opened up out of his plastic prison let's just get into him so first closer detailings head sculpt looks really nice there's it, closer detailing to this thing heck yeah look at all the details it just looks like a purple turd it's just like even like shaped by it comes <laughs> out and it's just like <laughs> okay i'll give you that <laughs> one well i think for the head sculpt looks nice you can see the beak here you got the teeth on the front, which has that very giant claw, like gaping maw scream that you always see. thing about this figure is the uh, details in the pupils they put in the eyes. We're just blank? Yes, Steve. That, that, that was the whole point, Steve. Well, yeah. There's, why would they paint it? Why wouldn't they paint it? Because it's not supposed to. Oh, it's let's... a very, like, 80s style figure. Like, we got, like, it's kind of, well... Uh, uh, I grab for comparisons. We got stuff upstairs, but it's very much like the old dinosaur toys and whatnot. Can't where you justify this thing. Where you get one giant. It's like they're all just one color. How much did she pay for this thing? It was twenty. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Steve. That made my day. You're my hero. He's got some fluff on the top of his head. Anyways, he's got the little <laughs> spiky bit on the back. You can see his neck here, which curls in towards the back which helps to keep the figure very compact but you still get all the detail there and then for the body here you get the wings uh all the fluff here on the back here you can see his little tail on the bottom here uh for his feet look nice too got three toes some claws in the end got the company logo on the bottom some more fluff. I think the one thing that's kind of cool is that there actually is detail under here. Because <laughs> it's like a, a spot of the figure where it's like, it's going to be sitting on your shelf, right? You're not going to really pay much attention to that. And well, you paid $20 for it, so I hope they put some kind of detail somewhere since they didn't paint it. Well, the, again, it's the style. Style. <laughs> There's a reason why styles die out, Steve. Do you know why? Because they suck. You suck. How I pay my bills is none of their concern. Actually, guys might get along. <laughs> I think the one thing, which I know it's a production thing, but it having, being like separate pieces, you get this giant seam line here coming along the neck here, which I get because of the way that they probably had to do the molds yeah, and connect it. To. It's the way like X pluses work and stuff like that. But it's just, uh, it's definitely noticeable. It makes it look like he can bend there, so there's like some kind of like... Yeah, I kind of wish I could maybe like get a little rotation there, just so you kind of like turn his head a bit. 
they should have at least like put that kind of thing so it looks like there's a purpose for the seam line do you know what i mean yeah but then again like the way it's set up i don't know how you would get it to be articulated and also look right yeah because he looks like he's squatting or just chilling <laughs> yeah because then you'd have to like you couldn't the sculpt wouldn't work right if you added articulation yeah. And again, I kind of like the way he's set up. Like he's very compact. Like he's just gonna sit on my shelf next to some Funko Pops and what have you. That's gonna be awesome. And moving on to articulation, there is none, zero. And then he's purple. He's purple all the time. So for some quick comparisons here, we have the Hop Toys giant claw figure compared next to some other uh, independent company figures uh, with the Titanic creations, Titanicus and Nosferatu. Whose review will be up on Super sometime in the near future. Hey, here he is with some other more like obscure collectibles with the Bullmark Mecha Godzilla and the Gorgo set from Marmot. Hey, here's some stylized Godzilla collectibles with the Funko Pop Godzilla and the Bandai Crayon Chin Godzilla with exposed butt. Then for some action figures, here is with the NECA Biolante Bio Godzilla 1989 and the Spitfire Godzilla 2014 from SH Monster Arts. And finally, here he is with a figure that I kind of feel like is sort of in the same vein with the Lantern uh, Alien Queen uh, figure and uh, the Alpha Predator that doesn't really like to stand very well by himself uh, from NECA. We got a review coming up for him uh, sometime in the near future as well. So overall for the Hops Toys Giant Claw figure, I think this thing's pretty sweet. Kind of makes me want to go get maybe... At least the thing one, because I like the I like the John Carpenter movie a lot, and it'd be kind of cool to have the original guy hanging around on my shelf, you know. <laughs> oh man, I, I can't justify anyone paying twenty bucks for this monstrosity. Well, again, it's kind of the same thing like we just did the uh, the Titanic Creations video. Yeah, where that thing's forty bucks, and it's because it's like it's a small company. It was well, like, that would be funded by Kickstarter, so the stuff's going to be a little bit more money. And I like that it it's in a style that's very akin to what like I used to play with and, my, and collect as a when I was younger. Again, those styles... And my wife went, still does now. Again, those styles went away for a reason, because these things are just horrendous, man. Like, damn. They didn't go away. They still make things like that. Yeah, by Kickstarter paying 20 bucks you for just could go three, to Walmart and find stuff like this like this dollars worth of plastic they're called again. Funko Pops exactly <laughs> you don't see people having hundreds and hundreds of Funko Pops you just buy, uh, yeah you do you just buy yeah, you a do. specific Funko I don't think Pop. you've walked into my basement and all the fu fudging Five Nights at Freddy's guys just handing out on the show again like, you married it so it's kind of your fault I got you. Funko Pops in here Again, it's not, a, not as many. But I got, exactly. I got Funko Pops. It's only like specific things that you can't find in a normal. Yeah, like the giant claw. I would know. At least Funko Pop paint, painted it differently. No, no, Funko Pops are like all. They think they're all the same. No, no, they're not. All the same. No, they're not. All the same. It's got a little blank. Yeah, they don't do the pupils either. That's not true. I have a baby Yoda at home that's eating the frog. If we can pull the frog out, probably has better paint job than this thing does out of its mouth. I think it's cool. If you guys are interested, link in the description and you go check it out. Don't be interested. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. This is one of those videos I should have did by myself. <laughs> you said but you wanted anyways. diversity and honesty. That's what I'm giving you. Oh, I hate your honesty. Anyways. <laughs> Don't hate, Steve. Appreciate. I appreciate. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. If you guys seen the giant claw, are you guys interested in picking this one up for yourself? And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like you up with the date with channel, donate. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.